TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But if you missed this live, anything good happens, it'll be on this channel above us, man. If not, you know, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, don't forget, we do got the Patreon. We just finished This Is England 88. Time to start on 90. You feel me? The last that season finale was fire. I ain't even gonna hold you. A little, a lot of real emotional, a lot of ups and downs and things of that nature. Um, link to all of these are in the description below if you're wondering. Um, and we also got the Discord. Submit your little requests and whatnot. Uh, this is, I got attacked by a heavyweight champion. 2.2 million views in 20 hours? I can only wish that someday the early, the first responders can push my video that much. <laughs> Let's get into this though. Okay, apologize. Of course I apologize. Yeah, I know you going to apologize right now. You're probably wondering why I would do this. Well, this is a series where I've done some crazy things with America's biggest prankster, Jadion. We have both set each other four unbearable challenges to see who will follow through and who will fold. And we're doing all of this to answer the question, who is the biggest menace? <laughs> Get it motivation behind this one. You see, me personally, I hate beef. And I try to squash every single beef that I get into in my life. And I want to help Nick go out with his. Jillian wants you to explain the backstory of you and Shannon Briggs. Yeah, of course he does. Well, Shannon Briggs is yeah, a because I have no idea. two-time world heavyweight champion who invented the phrase. <laughs> we met three years ago when he was Logan Paul's trainer for his boxing match against Knowledge. And being Team UK, I got Shannon to call himself a Paul Say, I'm a Nase, I'm a Nase. And from that moment, Mr. Briggs wanted his revenge. If I ever see him again, I will knock all his teeth out. It would make me feel phenomenal to break his jaw, break his ribs, make him feel pain he never felt. But this did happen a long time ago, so I just want to. Oh my God, he took that to the heart, didn't he? Say that I have apologized. My guy should not say. I just want to say I am so sorry for what I did to you. And I hope you still don't want to break my face in and break my legs and do all of that stuff. Sorry, man. But unfortunately, Shannon Briggs never gave me a response. So I think it's finally time that they meet up, squash this once and for all, and become friends. But before they do that, Shannon obviously got to get his revenge. So I came to put a plan. I gave him a call. What's up, champ? I want to do a prank with you, but I think the person that we're gonna be pranking, I think you're gonna have fun with it. Yeah. Remember the the English guy that got you three years ago? Yeah, I'm gonna get that motherfucker. He's gonna shoot himself when he see me. He's gonna shoot himself when he see me. That's gonna be good. You gonna get it on camera. Hey man, this is gonna be the best revenge because he's on dead ass like. Hey, at least Briggs was a good sport and like turned it into like, let me just prank him back. Let me get him back. Because at the end of the day, this be all internet stuff, so. He might run away, low key. I know, I know it's gonna be the best. <laughs> Alright, man, appreciate you. Nico, you're fucked. <laughs> you are fucked. You know, Damn being it. a lacrosse mom is tough. I could have swore I turned my um ad block on, I guess I move, move. All right, boys, man, the man of the hour, Mr. Briggs, is here. I kind of feel like he actually is going to knock Nico out. And if he does, that'd be kind of funny, but, like, I want to see my boy get knocked out. Like, I mess with Nico, bro. What's good, champ? A lot bigger in person. That's good, champ. <laughs> it's crazy. You know, you always hear rappers talking about how they flying out girls and stuff, and here I am flying out a 6'7", 300-pound, two-time world heavyweight championship grown man. It's champ Shannon the Cannon Briggs, two-time heavyweight champ of the world, but I'm with the real champ. He's 6'7"? How tall is Gideon? Right here, y'all. Let's go, champ. I'm the real champ. <laughs> I was just laying in bed, man. I was like, man, I sure wish I could see that kid again. No, I swear, it's crazy how life is in the universe work. And then when you called me, I was like, yo, this is meant to be, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, champ. So this is how I had it all planned out. I saw this trend on TikTok where basically you eat DoorDash orders in front of the stranger, right? And so I thought of the perfect idea. I have him run and do some DoorDash orders 
He's gonna think nothing of it. He's probably gonna think it's whack. I'm not gonna lie. It is a whack idea. But the more whack it is, when it's the last one, that's when his expectations are gonna be at the lowest. But what Nico doesn't know is, I phase drugged one of the orders to go directly to one of his biggest ops. Shannon the Cannon Briggs. Let's go, Shannon! Shout out to the boy, Arak, man. Let us use his crib. Of course, of course. I'm so invested. I'm just gonna stay here until you this guys- This is his crib? Man, yo. <laughs> I'm, I cannot wait. I'm go in, knock on Shannon's doorstep, and when Shannon opens that door, I promise you, Nico's gonna know that you met his demise. If Nico somehow musters up the strength to stand his ground to Shannon, hey, fair play, he passed. But if he runs away, screams, cowards, it's an automatic foe for him. He's obviously gonna cower. Maybe scream a little bit. So, yeah, this is a pretty good one. So one week went Just don't act tough. Acting tough in this situation will be your device. Fine, now it's time to meet up with Nico in a be very humble. Bob shop to go over the plan that he thinks he's gonna be doing, which is some basic DoorDash prank. And I don't think he was too fond of the idea. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. I think of all of them, this one I should be fine. You think this, this one's the easiest? It has to be the easiest, it has to be. This is gonna be the reaction. Hopefully they're not a big black guy like him. Yeah, hopefully not. All right, well, you've got to get back to your shift. Now you gotta get to work. Peace out, brother. All right, let's go. Let's go. DoorDash. Can't wait. <laughs> Nico was none the wiser. The real plan was now in action. Getting a chance to answer the door and get his revenge. So the next morning, we went to pick him up. Is anybody gonna explain like what happened to Nico's neck? When I saw Nico's smug face, I already knew my plan was working because he thinks it's gonna be easy. He really thought it was gonna be a walk in the park. <laughs> no. I remember my first thought was, she had really flew me all the way to LA just to make me eat food and knock on strangers' doors. I'm just glad he's taking this series to different levels. All right, let's do this. Afternoon. Here you go. This. Wow, she's, oh, this is great. This what? is great. Oh, she's freaking out. It didn't look very nice, so I drank it for you, and it just turned out it was really, it was actually really nice. I left some for you. No, it's okay. It, it <laughs> tastes nice, at least. I know. Um, Did he drink it? I need a picture. Okay. Is that okay? Just delivered an amazing five-star meal. How happy are you with the service? Happy? Thank you. Could you just say Nico is the best driver? Okay. I'm the best driver. Thank you so much. I actually have another drink for you in the car because this is just uh, a prank. It's a prank. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, enjoy, enjoy, yeah? Mate, ma'am, can you say you just got pranked? Oh, I know you. My boyfriend watched you. Oh, for real? He watches Marcus Brownlee. Yeah, I, my <laughs> You do look like him a little bit. My boyfriend watching him from YouTube. So I she watches you, you Marcus. So, you know, between orders, I had to mess with him a little bit, you know, just foreshadow what his future had in store for him. Say, so if you like get into a confrontation with someone, like, are you the type of person to run away or you just stay in your ground? It depends on what type of confrontation. Like, what if you ran to like one of the people you pranked in the racist town? Like, what if you seen like an old op? That's happened before, you know? Really? Yeah, it happened in a video. Did you fold? No, no, no. I stood my ground, man. Come on. Oh, if you think it out, if you think it out. This is Dylan. He actually signaled the police. He was so scared of what I could do to him with my huge arms. <laughs> guys, wait! Before we continue you pranking Nico, I need you guys to do me a- Wasn't it just Nico's, bir Nico's birthday? Happy belated. Huge favor and was, or Gideon's birthday, one of the two. Subscribe to his channel and like this video. This is so important. If you guys do this one small- Okay, sorry to interrupt the video. Let's get back into the banger. You're not that Yeah, Carla. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, what happened? I'm not. It's not very useful because I've got to be able to take a picture of you. No. No, please. Please, please. I've been waiting. So. You literally ate it. No, I didn't. I didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. I promise. I didn't eat it. No, I can't. Why? I can't see you. Oh, I've got your food here. I've got your food here. I literally have your food right there. It's in your mouth. It's not out there. It's in your mm, mouth. It's in my mouth, but there's still some left. Carla? Oh, are you not Jasmine? I'm so confused. Is this for you? Can I check if it's right? Yeah, 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 of course. What's your name? Billie Eilish. So you were having a go at me for no reason. When Jasmine comes down, because Jasmine wasn't responding to me, so I just decided to eat the food. Can you give me a five-star rating now? No, I can't. Uh, we're just fucking with you. We're playing. We're sorry, Carla. We are sorry. Are you going to Yeah. Pornhub. Pornhub. Even better. No, thanks for my food. No problem. You can find the video on Bang Bus. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a finish. 
So that she looked like Bang Bus. I'm familiar. That was all the DoorDash orders. But he has one more order to complete before his shift is over. Shannon Briggs, a two-time world heavyweight champion, a man of which we have never seen before, is about to get his sweet revenge on Nico. If Shannon decided to, he could literally rip Nickel to shreds and there's nothing that any of us could do. I know I was ready and I know for a thousand percent fact that Shannon was. All that left is for Shannon to open the door. Shannon Briggs has a face of his worst enemy. Is this the one, Nico? I just asked politely, can I get a bite? He might be nice. Or she might be nice. Or they might be nice. You're nice, man. We don't discriminate. Okay. So it's the moment of truth. We finally got up to the house and when he was walking up those steps, I'm not gonna lie. I was really scared for him because even though Shannon promised me that he wasn't gonna hurt him, what on this earth could possibly stop Shannon the Cannon Briggs? Mike Tyson? He's scared. <laughs> <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> Why is he acting like this? He volunteered. I wonder if that uh, that's a two-way glass or is it tinted and, he, and they can't see him coming up. <laughs> Look, I don't have the line. How are you doing, my friend? I got some of your food right here. Why are you eating my food? I'm just enjoying your food, my friend. Nice to see you, should I say? I saw you. My food, and you think it's funny? I'm just where I know you from? from? I know you from. Um, from where? From boxing. How you box? You yeah, fight? Yeah, yeah, I'm a good fighter, man. Yeah, let me see what you got. <laughs> and you was eating my food. What's up with that? Come on. <laughs> What's up with that? So I'm, I'm checking up some chips. Uh, <laughs> How you doing, chips? <laughs> chips. <laughs> What's How you doing, man? Where I know you from. <laughs> Huh? We're good friends from school. Nah, you don't know me. <laughs> but I think I know you. You look like a dude that made a prank on me before. Is that you? <laughs> no, that's not huh? me. That's not me, man. Nah, it was you. It was you. It was me, man. Apologize. <laughs> Open up. Ap Ap apologize. Apologize. Of course I'll apologize. Yeah, I know you're going to apologize right now. Say sorry, so, champ. Uh, listen. Say sorry, champ. You don't say I am so sorry. What'd you call me? So the apology? <laughs> <laughs> Anonce? <laughs> no, no. Come on, you ain't I, I wouldn't do that, man. No, Anonce? He's still at it? Nico is undefeated, really. They call me Nancy, remember that? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> nah, chill, I remember. <laughs> remember? You remember? I remember. No, it was funny, right. wasn't it? It was funny, right? right? It was funny, right? People, Say sorry, champ. People said it was funny. Say sorry, champ. Listen, you're a champ. Say sorry, champ. Listen, listen you're a champ. Say I, sorry, yeah, champ. Yeah, I have. I've already apologized. No, say, say it right now. Champ, I apologize. I've already apologized. Say you it now. Lie, I can't champ. hear you. Sorry. <laughs> one more time, one more time. I just apologize. One more a little louder. Okay. <laughs> a little louder. A little louder. A little louder. A little louder. Shan had Nico pinned up against the ropes. Oh, Nico got hold in front of 2.2 million people. I, I genuinely couldn't guarantee his safety anymore, so I had to intervene. I'm gonna save Nico. I'm gonna save him. I feel bad. Yeah, it's getting kind of hectic right now. Champ got vo deep vo voice deeper. I can't even get the word out. I'm scared for Nico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Champ, 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 champ. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Mr. Briggs! Mr. Briggs! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, man. For real, I'm sorry. For real, I'm sorry. For real. I've wanted to apologize for a long time. I have been trying to apologize to Shannon Briggs for years, but he's had me blocked. So to have him there and be cracking bants with him, that was a truly magical feeling. I think he peed on his bro. <laughs> 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 I thought, you know, I thought something Let's go, that. champ. <laughs> now, let me get a let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I got him back, y'all. Huh? I got him back. Fair the fair real fair. champ is this man for setting it up. <laughs> let's go, champ. It's crazy how it's in funny. another multiverse, That's this funny. man is constantly putting me to sleep. He is now putting me under his arms in friendship. And we've he looks so uncomfortable. It's all right, man. Fear is a crazy thing, ain't it? Oh, pass behind us. We've moved forward. I'm so scared. You know what didn't help? It's the fact that I had chips in my mouth. So I was, I was trying to swallow. I was trying to swallow the chips the whole time. I was like, mm, I'm sorry, champ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! You go to Let's go! Let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! I just turned lifelong enemies into lifelong friends. My father called me the professional beef squasher. But soon, I was gonna be calling me the biggest man. Well, that was a nice happy ending. <laughs> but it won't be a happy ending next time, I promise you that. Maybe Gideon can get the GDs and the BDs in Chicago to 
link up and be cool too. And you guys will see. But first, you must subscribe to Gideon's channel. Yeah, man. Together, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. I'm gone.